Hello, hello, how's it going? You're very, very welcome back to my channel if you're a regular. If you're new to my channel, you are very, very welcome. Today I am back with my motivation vi videos on solo traveling and why I think it's one of the most powerful things you can do or why I recommend everyone to do it. So I have done a good few uh, trips by myself over the last couple of years. I actually did a video, by the way, a couple of years ago, if you haven't seen that, um, I checked out, I recommend checking it out as well. Uh, basically said, basically titled don't be afraid to do things for yourself by yourself and with yourself so and that's one thing i think i can link to this video so as i said i have done a bit of solo traveling over the last couple of years so i'll just give you a few examples i've done glasgow i've done manchester and i've done edinburgh solo traveling that's um three um not overly big cities but still a good sized cities um uh, to do uh trips to now, solo traveling, um, I've seen a few people do this. I know Simon Wilson is a big inspiration for me. Uh, he often does, goes to these mini, goes mini city breaks with no money challenges and he does so, and he pretty much does solo traveling um, during them all. Now, this really gave me inspiration because I, see, I'm one of those people that likes to get out there and do it. I like to go and see new things. I. I'm I'm so intrigued with like what's out there and what each city or destination where wherever I'm going has to offer. I like to see new things. As well, I just love to just uh, compare, contrast uh different different cities to like home, say. And I think that solo traveling kind of is one of the most powerful things you can do because you're doing it by yourself. You're working it for your working for yourself, doing it for yourself when you're doing solo traveling. You're getting to see different places all the time. Now there are there's every there's every pros and cons to the two of them, like you know that's the thing. So a benefit is that you're seeing a new place and also you're not relying on someone um, to help help you out. You can help yourself. It increases your independence and there's no one to kind of hold you back in that sense because. Um, if you want to say do an attraction, you can just do. You don't have to say. Um, you don't have to ask. Say whoever's with you. Oh, do you want to do this? Like you can just go off and do things for yourself. Now I have had holidays where that's happened and that's been fine. You know what I mean? That's been okay. Like you know, everyone has different interests and it's okay to just go off and do a different attraction by yourself and then meet up later on. That's okay. That's totally fine too. Depends on whoever you're with. Say, but yeah, I do find I like that the idea of just being able to go somewhere and not to worry about are we going to be lit. We're going to be late um, with this person like it. You can just go out there and do it, which I think is, um, I think is very good. And it's good to um, just get out there and do it. I said, because it goes back to the independence thing as well. You get to be independent and like build you up. Like, and I think it's important to do things for yourself. You feel better after, I think, as well. You really do. And then the con is the fact is that when you are so traveling, you are, you are by yourself now. Uh, I did have a trip this week in Scotland where I did meet up with Lucas Bolton um, a few days later. But the place, like I said, Glasgow, when I was there for the first time in 2019, and Manchester alone, I met Luke R44, Luke R the first day. I think the majority of those times I was, with, I was on those trips by myself. You know, the cow surfing, I was by myself. So um, it would be nice to have a bit more, it would have more, it would be nice to have more company in Edinburgh, company in Edinburgh. Um, it would have been nice to have have more time with Luke in Manchester, uh, but um, it did develop my independence. It developed my like you know confidence in going out to a city and doing a destination by myself and like you know working things out for myself. Just going out there and doing it, not just acting on it, thinking and developing strategies. I think that's one thing that can help with um, solo traveling. Uh, developing strategies um to help you because if you're a bit nervous in a city and and um come up with ways to make sure like you know because you don't want to like you want to make off make out that when you're there that you are local you want like you don't want to come across as a tourist say <laughs> like because you want to because like if you're kind of one of those people that shines wants to just blend in do their own thing it's important to come up with strategies to um that basically fit in so that's so basically, yeah, it does um can hinder be a hindrance if you are solo traveling, like um so yeah, being by yourself can be quite lonesome 
as as well um that's the con and that the anxiety can also be a big thing too actually um for a solo traveler because they're kind of they don't know the place they're in a place they don't know how things work or something bad happens so anxiety can be a big can be a big thing too but i honestly for me i honestly recommend anyone to do solo traveling i just in that mindset where i just love doing that i just love going to a place like i'll go to a place by myself i'll i'll do anything sure i do stuff at home by myself so i might as well do things away by myself and i would highly recommend it to anyone yes it is it is tough at times and it can be everyone's scenario is different i am very mindful of the fact that everyone some people have had bad experiences on holidays and i do definitely bear that in mind but i can i could not highly recommend doing solo traveling and as well, also, I also did a bit of London by myself as well, actually, uh, there last November. So that's another place I've done um, pretty much by myself. So that's the thing I definitely would recommend everyone give it a go with. Like, it is a fantastic thing. I think solo traveling is one of the most powerful things you can do. It really helps you with your confidence, helps you with your independence. I just think it's just a brilliant thing to do. And I would highly recommend everyone does it. Does at some point, and it doesn't even have to. It doesn't even have to be, say, a big trip. It could just be like, say, a city break in Europe for like two or three days. Like, there's, there's something wrong with that. Like, you don't have. It doesn't have to be this big two week thing. And I find that being in small cities like Edinburgh, Glasgow, Manchester, they're not overly big cities. They're like Dublin that way. They're not overly big, but they are probably good examples of doing like you know, of doing small trips by yourself. You know, because they're not overwhelming cities either. So. They're probably good examples of places you could go to and get developed their solo travel, develop your confidence. So that that's um as an example you can use. So yeah, that is it. That's it for today's motivational video. I hope I inspire you all to give solo traveling a try. I would highly recommend it. If anyone has any comments or any questions, feel free to comment below. I'm happy to answer them um in the comment section below. So yeah, I want everyone to have a fantastic day. I should be back, back soon with more videos, motivation, autism with me, let's plays. Have a fantastic day, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.